Okay, so here we have the fire stick. Here's what's inside. So we have the remote um, with the two buttons, of course, uh, for the volume as well as the power for the TV. A little change over the previous remote that was available uh, in the States and a larger change over the previous remote that was available in Canada. We have some instructions manuals here. Um, we have the voice remote uh, instruction manual and then we have the fire stick manual. We have batteries. We have the charger, it's 5 watts. We have the actual fire stick, a little bit larger than the previous one. We have an extender, we have um, a USB cable, and of course just the box that all came in. Again, if you have the basic fire stick, it's going to be quite different. If you have the American fire stick, it's not a lot different. Again, a high resolution of course, and their remote's a little bit different, but not a large change. So the first thing you're going to need to do is to get it all plugged into your TV. Um, so of course the batteries will go in the remote and uh, inside uh, and then you'll plug the TV stick into an HDMI port and then plug that into uh, the power into a power bar of course. So get that set up and we'll go from there. Okay so we have the stick plugged in here and uh, it's going to connect to the remote. So we're going to push down the home button for 10 seconds and there we go. Looks like it's connected. So, it's time to push the play and pause button, choose our language, searching for networks. Okay, so it's connecting to the Wi-Fi here now. <clears throat> Connection successful. Checking for updates, and it's going to do an update on here. Okay, so it's just booting back up after the software uh, restart there. It took about five minutes. So here's the welcome screen. That's changed a bit as well since the uh, last version of the stick is out. Uh, reading through the manual, I can also see the stick uh, is packaged specifically for Canada. It talks about uh, Bell 5 and stuff like that, which is only available in Canada. So it's still loading here. Also looking through the manual, there's no instructions in the manual about how to um, make the remote work with the TV. So I think that should be in the setup here, I'm guessing, but we will find out. So previous to this, I had the um, Amazon Fire Stick that I had purchased while I was traveling in the United States. Um, so the remote was, as I showed earlier, was similar to this one. It didn't have the volume up and down of the TV on or off, uh, but it did have the voice control, um, which was missing off the stick that Amazon was selling in Canada. I think it was maybe overproduction, or I'm not sure why they chose not to have that stick, but either way. So it's connecting to the network, <clears throat> it's doing its update check here, and here we go. So now we have to add our Amazon account. This lets you, if you have Prime, this lets you uh, get your Prime benefits, so I'm going to sign in here. Asked about parental controls here. No, I don't want parental controls. I don't have any kids. So now we're doing the remote setup. Here's the part that I thought we might be waiting for. Okay, so we play music. Please make sure your volume is turned up, then continue. Okay, my volume is up. And right there, first guess, got it. Wow, that was quick. So I guess it probably detected maybe the TV with the HDMI. Because, yeah, I can turn, I can turn the volume up and down right on here. It's amazing. To a network speed test. Fire TV Stick 4K. Fire TV Stick 4K. Connecting. So there was the welcome ad, I guess you could say. Um, I skipped through that just because it was quite long, um, but you'll see it when you launch it. Um, so choose your streaming devices. Everything is free to add, require for access. Okay. So let's take a look and we can see the ads that are available here. So we'll click finish and it's installing it. So there is the main page you have. So on the top here, of course, you have your apps and games. This is all the individual apps that list, so photos, music, all that such. 
Um, so if you go into Prime Video, it's going to take you right to the actual all the videos that they offer. Netflix, Netflix, all of your different apps you put on here. It's actually quickly installing them. Oh, looks like VLC. Um, I downloaded VLC previously, so these are all the apps I've previously downloaded that are showing now. Amazon Music for your music, photos for photos, obviously. It's pretty straightforward stuff here. Um, this is kind of like Netflix on your homepage. You can see Prime Originals. So these are videos that Amazon has paid or produced, uh, either partially or fully. Apps that you can download, new ones, looks like Sega, you can play Sega games on here. Um, new content on Fire TV, some movies, TV shows, again, just front page stuff trying to get your attention. Now, some of these things, like if we click this, for example, some of them will be, okay, this is on Prime, some of them will prompt you to um, install something or another. Now when I had the American one, it was all the time. It looks like this one would be a little less. So we'll try another one here. Um, let's go to Henry Ford. Do you know what? These might all actually be available on here. Let me check PBS, the draft. Now it looks like it's all on Prime. Let's look at that. So I've done a better job of filtering the front. What you see there, you have access to. And then if we go up, you have home, top you have your videos, again, just videos, movies, TV shows, apps. Oh, here we go. So you can see here that it's picked up that I have the CTV app. So we click it, and let's see what happens. It's telling me to download it, which I have in line, but we'll click that. I'm guessing it's going to prompt me to enter in a cable subscription or something along those lines here. We'll see. Okay, so I was indeed correct. You need to have a cable box for this, so... Um, let me show you here the list available. So there is a list of companies that you can use for it. So just your normal ones. So basically, if you have cable, you can use it. If not, you're out of luck. Anyway, that's the basic setup for the uh, Amazon Fire Stick 4K. Uh, comment below if you have any questions. Um, happy to answer them. But otherwise, yeah, it's a pretty, it's a pretty wonderful stick. Pretty straightforward to set up, and it gives you access to a lot of different devices or different uh, platforms. Netflix, uh, Amazon. If you have cable, you can have your cable access on here. The list goes on and on. Thanks for watching.